Hey guys, it's Sithlore. Wanted to talk about the magic missile skill, which is the very first skill that you get in the game. It's a primary skill, and so primary skills don't cost any arcane power or any resources to cast. And what it does is it is a single target skill. Just as the name implies, it shoots a missile. That's what it looks like. Not the fire ball. Um, but it deals a 125% weapon damage to the single enemy that it hits. Sorry, you can ignore the fiery ball. I have a storm crow, which is what that is. So, actually, I have an elite pack, so I'm just going to take him out. So it's a decent skill um, for taking out single enemies, but of course, because of the fact that it is a single target skill, it is lacking significantly if you want to deal with larger packs or taking out enemies quickly. So the first rune is Charge Blast. So basically the exact same, doesn't do much difference other than the damage has been increased significantly. So instead of 125%, it's 162% weapon damage. So we'll just take a look at it just for a sec because of the fact that it's essentially the identical skill. So there you go, not much difference at all other than, like I said, slightly more damage. So the next rune choice is Split. Now Split does change the dynamic of the skill a little bit because instead of firing a single missile, you are now firing three missiles. Now each of the missiles do 56% weapon damage. So if all three of the runes hit, or of the missiles hit, then you can do slightly more damage than Charge Bolt uh, or Charge Blast because the 56 times 3 is 168. So you can do 6% more weapon damage. Realistically, though, because of the fact that it is only 6% more weapon damage, I don't find it more effective because the odds of all three of them hitting are fairly remote. Alright, so now that he is taken care of, let's go back to town and we will change up the skill. So the next rune choice, Penetrating Blast, goes back to the base damage of 125%, but any missiles that you fire will penetrate um, and so they'll appear. So it becomes a linear AoE ability. So uh, again, weaker for single target, but becomes actually a, a decent linear AoE skill as a result. So when dealing with trash mobs and things along that line, this can can actually be fairly good. That being said, um, Magic Missile is a single target spell, so if you're wanting a AoE type of ability, especially a linear linear AoE ability, then there's other skills that I would consider much more effective, such as Piercing Orb for Charge Bolt, but we will get to that in another video. So that's what this one is. Uh, if you're going to be using this one, you might want to move around a little bit more because you want to ensure that you're hitting as many targets as possible. So rather than the approach that you had been taking, it's advantageous to do some linear kiting rather than some circular kiting to try to, like I said, ensure that you're hitting as many targets as possible. So as I indicated, 
the with a primary skill that doesn't cost any resources well in this case for the next rune choice attunement you're actually going to generate arcane power uh, arcane power does regenerate automatically but every um, enemy that you hit increases it by four so the seeker rune is in my opinion the best rune uh, for uh, for a normal type of a build so what this is, it will automatically seek out targets. So if I'm aiming, it's a little more challenging to cast inside. But as you can see, I can be aiming way over here and it automatically goes and hits targets. It is, like I said, a little bit more tricky uh, to cast indoors because it may bounce off a wall and if it hits a wall, it's done. Uh, it's not going to automatically seek out these hosts. But this is a good kind of skill when you are uh, kiting. It's more of a, if you're using the type of build that I have currently, where you've got a Hydra, you've got a Blizzard, and the only thing, those two skills are doing most of your damage. You are using this skill primarily just because you're kiting and you're running around. The other way that this skill can be be beneficial is not against these monsters, but in this situation where you've got enemies that are around a bend, well, you can cast the skill and it will automatically seek out the targets uh, around the corner. And so as a result, those enemies can, can be taken out and you can, can stay pretty safe as a result. So... Uh, anyways guys, that is the magic missile skill. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, just a really quick summary. A decent single target skill, not one that you're going to be using uh, on many occasions, but it does a decent amount of damage. Charge Blast and Seeker are the two best runes. Charge Blast because of the increased damage and Seeker because you can cast it around walls just like I just did and um, it's great for kiting. So anyways guys, thanks for watching.